Ah, hello, 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 guys. So, um, this is a frame I bought quite a while ago, but it's a five inch, and I always knew that flying with five inch is going to be a bit more nimble than flying with a seven inch like the Hobson, or then going to a six inch like I did my first H frame, and then uh, and then this one. It's a bit of a mess here, and it's all going to get tidied up, but. What we're going to do is uh, sort of build this up pretty cheap with some of the stuff that's around today and um, is easily accessible. So this is a Martian 2. It weighs 90, gr 90 grams like this. Uh, with those four nuts on in there as well, uh, it's 90 grams, but without the battery adapter. Mm. Battery adapter in there. So, okay then guys, this is it, this is it put together, um, pretty cheap parts. Uh, I use the same ESCs as what I've been using uh, well, since I first started building. This is the main ESC I've been using, which is the uh, Race Star V2. Race, uh, you know what I mean? I'll stick it up. <clears throat> uh, we got a little Cadex camera. This is the Moonlight camera, <clears throat> which is, uh, I mean, it's not too bad. It's it's cheap, that's the thing, it's nice and cheap. It's about 22 pounds, about $22. I'm using a um, Esheen VTX-03S. So this is one with smart, smart audio support. Uh, again, a very cheap VTX. Uh, the only thing that's actually really, not expensive, but the uh, TBS. And it's only because I have a, I've got another one. I've got a um, FR Sky one, but I can't find it. Um, which what there was going to go on it, so I'm just using this temporarily uh, for the VTX. I'm using, I've connected directly, it has its own like uh, PCB built into it, and if you don't want to use it, take it out, you're going to find it's part of the structure of the whole thing, so I've used it anyway. And um, there's my connections <coughs> straight onto here, and uh, all I did was make a connection up to the Another power distribution board, which is the, the same Matek Beck. Uh, it's got a um, five volt, three amp um, power on there. And that's why I use it, because you get an extra bit of five amp current um, that you can use if you need it. And then I'm using a Matek, uh, the F405 STD, because it's cheap again, 22 pounds, about 22 bucks. This is, you know, a few, few, few pounds, few dollars. And, about twenty dollars for the frame. The motors are not going to be the ones that stay on here. It's all out, but I, I only had um, three of another motor because I was using it on the back of the wing, uh, one out of four. But this is uh, I'm going to swap these out. I've got some Esheen cheapos come through now. Uh, I think they're I, well, I bought them second hand. They're supposed to be brand new on the machine, but they were never used. So thirty pounds, about thirty dollars. It's the same, if it says $30, you know, uh, by the time we get it over here and the tax and everything, it's about the same on pounds. The which goes to show how much we get screwed. This one is uh, a top. I'm gonna stick the, the battery on the top of this one. Um, and usually I do it underneath, but this this time it's, uh, it's on the top. So yes, yeah, so that's it. Uh, this is a pretty cheap little build, really. Um, especially when you've got the cheaper motors on these are my favorite motors so they're going to be staying off they're going to be used on my wing and um, i'm going to put the e-sheens on here uh, these are 1720 rpms and uh, kv I should say and uh, the e-sheens are 2300 so 2300 kv so it'll probably be a little bit more zippy uh, at the lower throttle maybe <clears throat> so that's it let's give it a little fly uh, it's not going to be anything high, it's, it's going to be low level, just flying around a little uh, enclosed space. And uh, just, you know, just, so your handle's okay. Everything on here has been, just been set up with Vinav, um, doing its basic default settings. The only things that you have to adjust is, you know, like what, um, what uh, <laughs> you are, will you be using, which serial port you are, both the same thing. Which ones will you be using for which, and on this I think I've used the... Uh, for my receiver, I've got the, uh, I'm using uh, three because uh, serial port two is normally done for the receiver, but it's, uh, I use three because I'm just using transmit and receive on the one UART. 
and then for the smart audio because that's the only the connection I need really I've used there uh, I think it's channel 4 of smart audio and that's it that, that's all I've used on that for that the rest of it's just for the control and that's it and of course you might want to set up your on screen display but everything else is pretty much just as it comes out of the box I selected uh, the mixer for the uh, codex I selected the uh, the profile of the um, uh, X rotor multi rotor uh, quad which is uh, between three and seven inches I believe and so this is all good so it's just basically set up so you don't have to worry about is it going to be vibrating around no not really you've got lots of excess weight maybe yeah but if it's uh, no it should be okay so just standard settings out the eye enough all right that's one of the things I do love about eye enough is you can just put it together as long as you've got your connections corrected you know, sorted correctly and you sort out a few modes for yourself to arm the thing and you know maybe uh have your angle and horizontal in your acro mode but that's pretty much all you need you know get it up in the air you got that uh and that's it's great about all enough so here comes the flight bit of a flight video <laughs> 